So it's December 2nd, which means no, no, November is over. I want to talk about no, no, November in today's video, but not only that, I also want to be talking about like no fab and beating your meat addiction in general i want you all to know that not having sex at some times in your life is okay me personally i used to just date and sleep around with women but since i started this recent nofab journey i really decided that it's better for me if i just focus on myself if i just really level up myself at this point and the only way for me to completely level myself up is through complete abstinence which includes no masturbation no adult content and not dating also something i want to mention because i'm not doing any of these things i have a lot of extra energy i'm going to be talking about five points in this video the last one is the benefits of being on nofap or semen retention so what i want to talk about is how to succeed what to do if you fail what to do after no not november the negatives of no not november and the positives of no not november damn i'm holding up a no i don't mean that so how do you succeed doing no not november or nofap in general there's a few common reasons that people fail when they try and abstain from pmo meaning adult content masturbation orgasm so there's five reasons i wrote down there could be more but this is just what i experienced which could be boredom stress a lack of sleep having too much energy or distracted thoughts how to counter those and what to do with the extra energy you have i'll also talk about i also made a little breakdown of the days on how hard it is to start and how much easier it gets later on so day one or three is pretty hard because you're trying to break out of the routine maybe you just fat before you go to sleep or some shit like you use it to sleep then that's going to be pretty tough like how are you going to get tired how are you going to sleep yeah you might not be able to sleep that well but fuck it gotta push through and just deal with it day one to three is hard day three to seven is going to be a little bit easier you just focus on your new habits which i'm going to be talking about and you're just overall improving your life start feeling the benefits too like you feel more confident you feel more sharp like snappy you're more focused and just overall more confident day 7 to 14 is going to be pretty easy and so is going to be 14 to 31 you might experience some urges which won't be really easy to deal with depending on the severity of your addiction like the urges could vary but for me personally i wasn't dealing with that many urges i was really focused getting my mind off the matter and focusing on the right things like just working out eating healthy reading just learning in a month's time you really notice how much you've actually changed and that's the goal a lot of people when they do nofab they're setting themselves up for failure for example like taking your phone to bed that's a direct association in your head with like oh i'm on my phone i'm in bed let me scroll some social media red flag number two don't be on social media because we all know that shit's filled with ig booty models and once you see that your brain's gonna be like hey Hey, let me get a piece of that. And before you know that, you're on the hub. So that shit is not going to work for you. Don't take your phone to... Hey, man, shut your bitch ass up, Siri. Siri always talking shit. So don't take your phone to bed and just get rid of social media. If you really have to check social media, which is what I do, I have two phones, one business and one normal phone because I just don't want to have it on my regular phone I have with me all day. That way I just really use it for work. And there's no such excuse as, oh, I have to use my phone for business related things. Like, man, you're just chatting some bullshit because I literally make money off social media and I don't have to have it on my phone. So yeah, it's just a dumb excuse. So when you don't have social media, there's a less of a chance of triggers. And that way you don't give your brain a reason to see a one. And I want to explain that real quick because either your brain gets a zero in terms of dopamine or a one. It doesn't really know the difference between actual adult content or a lingerie model photo. Just don't give yourself that 0.1 because it will end up being the one. And uh, if you give yourself that, then really what's the point? So complete abstinence of all that bullshit because that's the goal we're trying to achieve here. Just don't watch adult content. Become a fucking normal person. <laughs> Some crucial tips for staying on track that I wrote down are as follows. So you want to have a workout routine. I think this is very crucial to use some of the extra energy you have to either go to the gym or do push-ups. This is something I used to do a lot when I just started my nofab journey like three years ago. Every time I got an urge, every time I was like thinking about it or I got like a, a boner or whatever, like I would just do push-ups until I failed and I could only do 20 or 30, but still being able to do that and get the energy out literally physically until I couldn't do shit anymore, that urge was gone. So also meditation plays a big part in being able to control your mind because if you can control your mind in a way where you can prevent a thought from happening or you can just see a thought as a thought and a feeling that just goes away like any other thing, like you feel happy, boom, 10 minutes later, you're not happy anymore. Boom, you feel sad, 10 minutes later, you're not sad anymore. Oh, you feel horny, like, oh, 
that that shit goes away too. It's just an emotion will go away. So if you can just identify it as just an emotion that goes away through meditation, you can practice that just being mindful, taking control of your brain, which honestly really isn't that hard, then you can deal with a lot of urges that way. Yeah, as I said, no social media. I mean, that's pretty much a given. I don't know why you'd be on social media. It's literally made by the matrix for you to just mindlessly consume other people, their content, which isn't, that's not really that great unless it's my videos because i'm based as fuck sleeping is important too because if you're irritable throughout the day maybe because you didn't have enough sleep or you're stressed out that could reflect on you through making bad decisions you know what topic we're talking about so bad decisions can lead to anything just like when you're doing push-ups when you get the urge when you feel that extra energy just um take a cold shower it's really something you can start your day with because it is something so uncomfortable. Like, nobody wants to do a fucking cold shower. That shit sucks. But once you do it, you've already done something very hard to start off your day. And if you have an urge and you take a cold shower, then I'm pretty sure that urge will be gone. So, what to do after you complete it? No, no, November. Holy shit, I feel like a god. Destroy Dig December is gonna be so great. Fuck no. You wanna stay on that shit because you're trying to improve your life. If you're already a month in, why the fuck would you waste it? Didn't you feel the benefits? Opposed to busting every day and just being on your shit. Like, you don't want to throw that away. You don't want to throw that away. Let me switch to the other camera real quick and low ass quality, bro. Don't throw that shit away. I just genuinely think adult content is doing more negative than positive for the world. So stay away from it. Don't get trapped by that comfort blanket and level yourself up because you know you have to. Let's talk about the negatives and the positives to end the video. I want to go over the negatives first, which aren't honestly that many, but I still wrote them down. So one thing could be your inability to sleep. A lot of people, they masturbate before they go to sleep. That way they get tired and they fall asleep. So your inability to sleep could be something that you might deal with either meditate or take a hot shower before bed that really helps drink some tea maybe some supplements like melatonin or whatever you might need to fall asleep at first but don't worry it will fade and it will get better also you're going to be dealing with urges and basically what this is is your brain triggering the easy dopamine pathways for you to just seek that dopamine it's like basically scream into you like Yo, go get that dopamine real quick. Go, yeah, you know you want that. You know, come on, give it to me. Like, you gotta say no. You gotta stay away from it. And you gotta fix your brain. And if you get urges, that means you're healing. So every time you get an urge, you, you gotta remind yourself like, oh, that's my brain trying to trick me. I don't want that shit. I'm destined for greatness. So the negatives of these urges and overcoming them is, is that you might end up with some brain fog. Once you overcome an urge and you beat it, not literally, goddamn. Then you might experience some brain fog I mean, probably not because beating an urge is just going to make you feel happy and accomplished. If you're then dealing with something called brain fog, which is where you're like, you're not motivated. You feel like foggy in your head, like you literally have a cloud in your head. That has to do with your brain not working the way it should because it is trying to activate these pathways as I just spoke about for dopamine. If you're not giving it that, then it might dumb down a little bit. It's your brain like rewiring, trying to find other paths. So you gotta give yourself a reason to be happy as well. That could be through trying something new, working on your goals regardless of how you feel and just achieving your goals anyway, no matter how you feel. Like that, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but that really helps. Maybe just treat yourself. Like don't be too hard on yourself when you're following a strict diet. Maybe have some like ice cream or maybe have like a nice snack, whatever. Like you're trying to fix your brain from adult content. Don't go too hard on yourself in other areas of your life. And I'm not saying that that's not an excuse for you to be a little bitch because you still got to be on all your other shit. So as I said, like you might become unmotivated. That's also a negative effect that will fade and you will have these periods of feeling low motivation, high motivation. You will cycle through it, keep track of how you feel every day and write it down. That's what I did. It really helps because uh, if I have a few low days, I know a few good days are coming too. Uh, I installed a tracker on my phone for like just keeping track of the days. Not that I really care about a streak, but okay, here. Okay, so it's been 45 days. I actually didn't know that. I thought it was like a month or 50 days or some shit. So these are some of the benefits I've currently experienced. And I want to go over them real quick because it's really hopeful. So my brain fog is gone. I feel really sharp most of the time. I do have some bad days, but I know that the bad days will go away and I will start feeling better very soon. Some people might experience erectile dysfunction, such as premature ejaculation or delayed ejaculation. So when you're on OFAP, you might go through a period, which is called the flat line, where your dick literally feels useless. Once you overcome that, you will experience the benefits that also have to do with your dick not like working the right way. So your depression and anxiety will also get better. If you're someone who deals with anxiety and overthinking a lot, just being able to feel confident about being on your shit, about 
just bettering your life really helps with your mindset of not feeling that anxious about the future because you know in the future you're going to be somewhere better and that's really important you gotta like know where you're going in order to feel accomplished every day and if you're working towards that goal every single day like that is that is a progression you feel really confident in and that confidence will radiate over your anxiety it won't be an overnight thing it will be a very slow gradually turning knob i personally don't deal with anxiety that much but with depression i did a little bit more i just had like thoughts of depression and those are fading I just don't really feel like I'm dwelling too much in the past anymore. And now I'm able to just see the past as motivation and use my traumas or negative experiences as fuel. And that way I can just like use it the right way instead of just completely dwelling and dawning myself upon it. So I'm actually developing like a God complex. I'm not trying to say like I'm better than the rest, but Loki I am because I feel like I'm on my shit so much that I am just like, I'm in the gym working harder. I'm dieting harder. I'm working on the business harder and I'm, I just feel good about myself, man. What can I say? I just feel like a God. I just feel like a God. Your willpower also increases. That's another benefit. So because you're abstaining from something that could potentially be a uh, struggle in your life, you're overcoming the struggle every single day, your willpower increases. Also cold showers help with that because who the fuck has the willpower to wake up in the morning, 6 a.m. and jump in a cold shower? Nobody wants to do that shit, but you do because you're a G. So you feel more confident. It's easy, bro. You're not beating your meat. You're not watching people have sex on your phone screen or PC screen. You're literally just like being a normal human being that can talk to other people normally. Like just going to radiate more confidence. Adult content has a really negative vibe to it. You kind of like when you're done beating your meat, you kind of feel ashamed. You kind of feel like guilt. Like, damn, why the fuck did I do this? And that like feeling carries over into your everyday life. Another benefit is women are not just sex objects to you. A lot of people view women that way, and I completely disagree with that because women are just regular people who you can have a conversation with. You also set quality standards for yourself. As before, I would kind of like probably date anyone. Right now, I'm really looking for a value, value in a woman that like she can add to my life, not just only sex. I don't I could care less for that. If if I have sex with a woman now, she's taking away my power rather than giving me something that I like could apply into my life or that would benefit me in my life. So right now I'm not just focused on sex and lust only. I mean, I'm not dating at all, but now that I think about it, like I'm probably looking for an actual connection and not just mutual masturbation. I mean, the mutual masturbation is kind of like a thing when you're just having sex with someone just for having sex. It's like you're masturbating into each other's body. That's just a weird way to put it. But yeah, you get the point. I'm just like, actually seeing women as women as people they're doing their shit how could they add to my life how could i add to their life and not just only for sex the last benefit i want to add is well it kind of comes with confidence but you're able to hold conversations better you're just more sharp thinking it's just like all these other compounding things like your willpower your confidence your concentration all those things add into just being a better person and you're able to hold a conversation better which ultimately is something people love just talking to each other so better focus and concentration will lead to you being able to focus on your goals better and being able to focus on your goals better will make sure you achieve them quicker god damn and that is ultimately sexual transmutation using the extra energy you're saving putting it towards your goals and just achieving them doesn't mean you have to do all this shit to achieve your goals but it will surely help if you just focus like a laser on your goals so that's what i wanted to talk about today peace uh yeah see ya oh yeah my instagram is shit it's like here follow me on instagram because i don't have anything to sell you yet maybe later maybe later i'll drop a course or some shit and just milk you guys for some money i don't know right now i don't subscribe